beautiful people and welcome back to our channel thanks so much for watching our video we so much appreciate you it has been reported that baba ijesha princess and also yabo ojo arrives in court as the sexual assault trial begins and it was being said that the popular Nollywood actor Ominyinka Olariwaju who was accused of this sexual assault and despite the fact that he has been granted bail and he was able to meet the bail conditions but yet he still have to the trial still has to continue to ensure the proper thing to be done by the court of law if you're here to subscribe to our channel we urge you to kindly click on the red subscribe button below and the notification bell beside it and after that just click on the personalized bell to give you the full access to watch most many news and um entertainment news here on our platform to get yourself updated the actor is being tried on the sixth count charge which includes sexual assault by penetration in the said treatment of child and sexual assault baba ijesha arrives called as sexual assault trial begins and the nollywood actor olariwaju james ominika popularly known as baba ijesha who is accused of sexually molesting a 14 year old girl has arrived at the special offense court in ikeja lagos state baba ijesha arrived at the court about 9 30 am and on monday in the company of his friends also, in attendance at the court include Comedian Princess and Ijabo Ojo. Yomi Fabiye, who strongly campaigned for Baba Yasha's bill application, is yet to arrive at the court as of the time of the report. The actor is being tried on a six-count charge which includes sexual assault by penetration, indecent treatment of a child and sexual assault, and others have the indecent treatment of a child, sexual assault and attempted sexual assault by penetration. <coughs> it was also reported that previously there has been a lot that has been happening regarding the case as it has led to so many chaos, most especially in the Nollywood industry. But before going into full details about what happened previously, there has been a lot of videos in which has stormed their social media and has gone viral as Baba Ijesha appeared in court and alongside Princess and Ijabojo and those videos unveiled just a few minutes after the court hearing. And we'd like you to kindly check out these videos as to see what is currently happening to Baba Ijesha as the Biabo Yu and Princess made themselves available at the court of law at Ikeja regarding the case of sexual molestation and sexual effort charged against Baba Ijesha. And also following this news, there has been a lot in which has happened lately as this has caused so many disagreements in the Tampan Association and as well the ANT Association and this has just been like a bomb in which has just been thrown to each of the nollywood actors and actresses in which are involved in the case and it's almost break the association apart if not for wisdom that has that was being used in order to put every of these associations of the nollywood yoruba nollywood together also following the report that the lagos state I court of law has admitted the footage of a closed circuit television CCTV submitted by comedian princess as evidence against Baba Ijesha, the embattled actor. And the 48 year old was arrested and detained by the Lagos police after he was alleged of the crime in which he committed. And the actor is being tried on a six account or six count charges as well. And on Monday, Alain Inkade Yemi, the State Director of Public Prosecution DPP, presented three witnesses including Princess against Baba Ijesha in the case. Ade Yemi also tendered a CD copy of the CCTV footage before the court as evidence in the case after Princess gave an account of what transpired. But Babatode Ogala counseled to Baba Ijesha opposed the gesture arguing that the cctv footage was not a primary evidence primary evidence is not secondary evidence the maker of the cctv footage is the primary evidence and the cd is a secondary evidence which is not admissible he said and reacting 
However, Oluwato Yitaiwo the judge ruled that the footage can be admitted in the case, adding that the witness and prosecution had laid enough foundation for its admission. She, the princess, has laid enough foundation so it's admissible. The witness has given enough information on it so I'll allow it, the judge held. And as well, Baba Ejesha in which was being prosecuted by the legal state has also contented that uh, at the law, the court of law. The Lagos State Directorate of Public Prosecution says it will prosecute the Nollywood actor Yomi Fabii for contempt of court over the hearing a movie about the fact of a case under judicial consideration. And the Lagos, Lagos State Director of Public Prosecution, Mrs. Olayenka De Yemi, on Monday told an Ikeja Special Offense Court that Yomi Fabii produced a movie entitled Okoyabo based on the court proceeding on June 24, 2021. The new agencies of Nigeria NAN report that the Nollywood actor Olariwaju James alias Babai Jesha is facing a six count charge bordering on the indecent treatment of a child. Adeyemi told the court on Monday that, despite mourning during proceedings of June 24, that the matter was subjudiced and therefore prohibited from public discussion elsewhere. But Yomi Fabiye went ahead and made a movie about the fact of the case. And the DPP noted that the movie, which was aired after the proceeding of June 24, breached the judge directives by revealing sensitive information about the case, which is before the court. Despite the warning of this honorable court, an actor called Yomi Fabiye went ahead and made a movie about the fact of this case, and he used real names of the parties and witnesses in this matter in the movie. And our application is to exclude him, his privacy and his agent from proceeding in court. He is not in court at the moment but his representative may be in court, and this is contempt of court and we intend to prosecute him and bring him before this court, the DPP said. And reacting, Justice Oluwato Itaiwo expressed displeasure about the development and ordered for an investigation. And this case is subjudiced and are not to be making videos and disparaging, disparaging comments on social media. And this needs to be investigated, the judge said. And responding responded to the allegation, the lead defense counsel Mr. Dadawushi Kassan said that though he was aware of the movie, it was filmed before the criminal case began in court. And the movie is about the controversy between the two artists, Yomi Fabiye and Yabo Ojo, as he said he saw the movie on YouTube. And the two of them are supporters of different sides. And Yomi Fabi is one supporter and Ojo is another supporter. And this movie is about the controversies between both of them and they are not parties of this case, Awoshika said. And the Justice Taiwo reiterated the fact that the allegation against Yomi Fabi Yi should be investigated by authorities to enable legal actions to be taken against him if he is found culpable. Now report that the famous Nollywood actress Miss Yabo Ojo was in court during the proceeding and now report that the Nollywood actress and the foster mother of the complaint, Ms. Damilola Adekoya alias Princess, had begun their testimonies as witness for the state Nan. Alright guys, don't forget to click on the red subscribe button below and as well as the notification bell to always get the latest news here on our platform as well. Thanks so much, stay tuned and don't go anywhere.